last time we left off adding these uh, menu items dynamically to our theme, as you can see in our actual admin area, I created a new custom post type, added the same, basically the same functionality as traditional posts in WordPress. And then we went ahead and added some menu items. Uh, this video will be me carrying on with that regard, adding the rest of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm going to do is essentially copy and paste this giant if statement here, and we'll put it in underneath the salad section. And I, I hard coded the actual heading itself. So we'll actually come through and believe do this. And for this category, we I went ahead and created the categories because that's how we're going to query what posts to get. And the next one is called starters. So I'm going to grab the slug of that, or actually the name, so you can display it this way. We are getting it by the post type, the category name, and the order. So that's how it's querying the database. And essentially, when we add a new meal, from now on we can add this one, the title there, what the price it is, $3.99. It is a starter, so make sure you select the category, otherwise it will not display in the right place. And I'm, I'm literally copying the design, it looks like some of this stuff is just repeated. Feel free to modify that. So we can, I'll put that, let's add the other one just to do it. Okay. So hopefully it's already set up yeah, those are displaying dynamically at this point. Um, to test that theory, let me comment out this one here. Hang on. Starters, meal, price, title. Oh, might help if I... Okay. That was on the wrong section. So let's <laughs> let's undo all of this for a second. Let's go to this section. I was under the salad section down here. Wrong one. Okay, so from the UL down, we can replace this with that same code we had up here. to change this to starters and I believe it should work out so again to test the theory comment that yeah and our titles are gone so cool that's working that section is easy uh, the next one will be pretty close to the same but we'll need to deal with this special and we might have to do a bit of um, PHP to basically test whether that is correct or actually there or not. So uh, when it, let's look at our HTML at this point. It looks like there's a class added for that if the special exists. So what I'm gonna do again to start is copy and paste this query. We're gonna add it. I'm gonna not delete the, the content below it just yet. I'm going to add that back. We're going to make this salads since that's that section. That's that category. And if we look at the HTML that currently exists, the only difference that I'm seeing is this class is added uh, if it's a special. So I think, and re realistically, it's 
looks like it's going to be added via CSS using like an after element. Am I right? I am. So as you can see in CSS, you can actually have text there and display it absolutely like he has here. Um, so you may be wondering, okay, how do I get that to work? And my solution, I think, is going to be an if statement. So this will be on the actual So per post, we'll check to see if that special exists. And to do that, we'll actually do it from our admin. We added that functionality before. But let me let me add this, and I'll show you what I mean. So special so essentially, if this exists, and we check that inside of our theme. Let me go to a post. Um, I'll create a new one real quick for this section. All of special price is 599. And this, I'm going to go ahead and create the next one since it is a special. So this one isn't currently. Let's create a new one that is, which is the next one here, the Greek salad. Price is 550. We'll tick this box and it will display this text. I'm actually not going to really display the text. Um, I don't plan to anyway. Um, we can actually test, just use this and and declare it that way. So we could test if this is checked. Um, I didn't program it that way, but you can go back and actually delete this field and just test whether this is true or false, since that's what it is. Um, if that doesn't make sense, I apologize. So this one, we'll make sure it's a salad. Publish. Okay, so currently that stuff is hard coded here. We'll need to, I'm gonna comment it out for now. And we'll do that. Awesome, it's working. So again, we're checking if that is true. If this field actually exists, this class will display. And to verify that, we can actually go in and Move, remove this class and that special call out should hide. Yeah, awesome. So that's one way to handle that. Um, you could do about go about it different ways. Um, I think to me that makes the most sense though. If you just give the user the option to check whether it's a special or not, they don't even have to think about, oh, well, it's gonna display differently if so on the front end. They just need to know, okay, if I check this box, it will do that. So make it easy for them. And let's go ahead and add the last one. Oops, I meant to put, or make that a new meal. There we go. 525. It's not a special, it's a salad. We will add this publish and we'll work our way to the next main dish category uh, let's go ahead and grab let's get rid of this so we just need to copy and paste this again since this has that special query we can make use of it again. So here's our main dishes. And we'll start at the UL. And work our way down. So this one will be 
main spa uh, space dishes. So if we go to the front end right now, nothing should display there. Yeah, and you'll see our error code. That's useful for the user if there's nothing. Um, that's just saying if none of this is working, there's nothing to query or throw back. This is what's going to display instead, and you'll see that there. So let's add a new meal for our main dishes. We'll refer to our other design, Cornish mackerel, whatever that means. And main dish. So this part of development is kind of the mundane part. You just kind of copy and paste some stuff or change a few things here and there, but realistically a lot of it's the same. Roast lamb. 550. So since we have that code from the, the past, uh, we can just go ahead and use it again. We do want to display the special text. And add that there. Continuing on, fried chicken. 529 or 5. It's not a special, it's a main dish. I don't know what this description has anything to do with that, but I get it. It's just placeholder. And let's add our final one. Pastilio. Pas, pa, I don't even know how to say that. Price. It doesn't appear to be a special either. Let's copy paste this in. Main dish. Publish. And that hopefully completes the section. This sweet. So I think the next section we'll do, we'll go back to maybe creating some custom fields for this part of the home page. And the same is true for this part. We may make use of a um, contact form kind of plugin here I like to use and then get our footer going. And we're almost almost there guys. So Hang tight. I'll see you in the next video. We'll try to, you know, approach the end of this.